Yo, the parse sheet today will be at the end of the video. All right, here we are, the last of the ships from Mud's Market Package, and it's the Jim Hadar Strike Wing. Mmm. So let's see what we got going on here. It looks more like the equipment that would come on a ship all mixed up. There's a lot of bonuses going on. Like the Dark Matter Quantum Torpedo. It's got its console. So, I'm tier 6 in all reps. So, I'm going to get a 2% bonus when I use one or more pieces off of a rep. There's the 1% crit severity that stacks up to 25 times. And it helps the chemo site proc on cannons. We've got two... Vodwar Polaron dual heavy cannons. The advanced Piazzo Polaron dual cannon with its console. Wait, did I lose myself? 4% crit chance. Yeah, when certain events occur, kill, when you grant the kill, okay. So the crit kill reward can be 4% crit chance or any of that stuff up there. And again, 2% bonus and 15% Polaron weapon. Deflector dish is colony deflector with shield pen. Prevailing innovative engines. My favorite, the Marsilio Hama Antimatter, <laughs> Matter Warp Core, and the Tilly Shield. Yeah, sorry, y'all, if I'm all over the place. One of them days. All right, we have the Morphogenic Torpedo in the back with its Omnidirectional and its console, which is that weird looking tactical console on the bottom. But this just gives like mad bonuses for the three piece 15 percent recharge time on fire at will beam overload scatter volley all that good stuff all right fire at will beam overload an additional two percent crit chance scatter volley rapid fire ten percent crit severity Torp spread or torp high yield, 7.5 weapon damage. It's just a nice 3 p set. The Soliton Wave Impeller for the experimental weapon slot. There's the console for the Dark Matter Torpedo. Since it's a console, it won't say 2% bonus. And there's that 1% crit chance, stacking crit chance I was talking about. The Ordnance Accelerator with the Advanced Inhibiting Polaron Heavy Turret. So, there's the bonus 2% again. And it gives me more Polaron weapon damage and flight turn rate. The console itself gives Polaron directed energy damage and projectile damage. So, it's a pretty nice console to have. Enhanced Dominion Coordinated Protocol. Directed energy damage and crit severity. And the clicky, it just gives you a whole bunch of bonuses to all damage, flight turn rate, flight speed, and inertia. Now this console, I have it paired with the console from the ship itself. Dominion Defense Screen with crit chance and crit severity. But the clicky regenerates your shields um, out of combat like crazy. If you're still firing, it's going to reduce the time by 20 seconds per fire cycle. In other words, don't click it when you're shooting. So the two-piece set gives me accuracy and defense rating. Okay. Um, on both. So I get it two times. 
defense rating is how many times they shoot at you and miss. We have the dynamic power redistribution module by itself for its damage resistance rating and directed energy weapon damage. Of course, the bonuses of 40% bonus damage, 100% bonus damage on flanking and the hull region. Bioneural infusion circuit for its crit severity and hull capacity. It has control expertise, but hey. All right, the morphogenic console is just full of stuff. Polaron damage, weapon, all weapon damage, drain expertise, and negative uh, 10 uh, weapon power costs when you're using one of the weapons. I would imagine that's the omnidirectional because the torque doesn't use power. We have four vulnerability locators for Inspire for crit chance and Polaron damage. And we have a lot, if you noticed, we had a lot of uh, category one damage. Now this ship, I want to go over this. It gives you a plus five to accuracy, plus five to defense rating, plus 10% to kinetic and energy weapons, plus 2.5% critical chance. And the trait extends the duration of be, uh, rapid fire so yeah she's like designed for PvP I guess the pink vanity shield that we got for uh, donating $25 to uh, breast cancer skill tree didn't change adapted offense for crit chance crit severity Innocuous for crit severity and minus threat. Intelligence agent cache for 2% cooldown of captain abilities on critical strike. A good day to die that turns your go down fighting into a reusable buff. Terran targeting systems for its crit severity buff. And we have three superiors, beam, cannon, and projectile on here. And operative for crit severity and crit chance. The setup itself is withering barrage. Best hope of the empire for the plus 10% all damage and plus 50,000 hit points. Emergency weapon cycle for fire cycle haste. Strike from the Shadows, Terran Goodbye, and the Runes of Our Enemy. Space Reputation Traits is Tyler's Duality. Enhanced Armor Protocol for Hall Pen. Enhanced Sensors. Okay, I put this there to add a little more drain. Remember, I am using Polarons. So, I just have a console that and my spec so magnified firepower just passed is all damage and omega kinetic shearing is uh it puts a dot on your torpedoes when they hit now over here i changed nothing they're all stacking crit chance energy weapon duty officers Two aux to bat officers and my nurse who increases hull regeneration or medic so let's look at the run I did die during the war run FYI and yeah there are no heals on this ship Now crazy me of course, gotta go one way.
At this point, I have a teammate on top of me, and he's taking care of the cube. But there's still one nano generator up, but it can't keep up with the damage. Oop, it finally died. Get a couple of last shots in for some bonus damage. And run to the other side of the screen. Now here I realize that I'm just like wasting my time because it goes to 89 and back to 100. So I'm gonna take out the one I can reach and that should do the trick. And yes, there is a scatter rally going. Just looking behind me. I'm still getting shot by everything. And that's the bad part about running public queues and doing decent DPS, um, you will pull threat. And there are still a lot of people out there that do not understand the mechanics of their the gameplay or their role. Because there's a tank on our team. He's attack, he is doing very little to nothing in damage. You'll see it on the parse. Staying alive does not make you a tank. Holding the aggro, so your DPS like me, that makes you a tank. And even then, I know tanks that can do high DPS. Okay, so that guy's gone, and I'm gonna be next. Oh, 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 there it goes. Always carry repairs, guys. Select rapid fire and all she wrote. Hi. So remember everything is linked in the description section below all the wiki page links are there so you can go over the equipment very off meta i gotta say she's a tough little ship i set her up with only one heal two um so that's my bad right if it's your first time here please subscribe leave a like join me in the comments and follow me over on twitch Peace, y'all. Love y'all to death.